Go to self. Don't have a carver. And then pretend you know Barca without Google Maps. I am completely lost. Sold out for today, literally five minutes before I got here. It's the ultimate loneliness in the busiest place. It's just the perfect place for solo travel. Hello, I'm Jo, otherwise known as the menopausal motorhomer. Now after navigating through some challenging years, adding the twist of my rapidly depleting hormones, I think I've found my ultimate remedy, hitting the road in my motorhomer lane. Join me on my travel escapades across the UK and Europe. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join me on my upcoming adventures. So busy afternoon working um, in the van here at Vineros, Vineros, that's it. Um, <clears throat> and just thinking about tomorrow so tomorrow i'm going to the campsite in barcelona castel castel delphins and i've booked that for two nights now i've had a really busy work week at work i haven't had a chance to actually plan anything for sunday so what i've just done is i've actually just gone into chat gpt which i use for my job said to said to ai Plan me a day in Barcelona. I'll be at this place on. I want to go on Sunday. Happy to walk, catch the bus, catch the train. Oh my god! Like seconds, seconds. It has planned my entire day. So this cold needs to do one. I also need to sort this. Oh, never again. And I say this every time. Will I cut a fringe in? Nice quick turnaround and the buses into Barcelona from the campsite are every 20 minutes. I've already sussed out the bus stop for coming back as well. I can see it just down there. So I've just nipped off the bus. I've arrived here. This looks impressive. Don't know where I am. I think what I really need to do is go get a travel pass. So that's the first thing I'm going to look into because I need to be nipping in and out the metro. So I came down to the metro station, bought a two day uh, travel card, it's 17 euros 50. And that means I can jump on and off the transport as I want now. And that's taking a bit of the pressure off. I've got two days because I'm at the campsite on Monday, so I might come back. First things first, if you're not confident with an underground system or a metro system, make sure you plan to know where your stops are. video of it but seriously it doesn't do it justice you need to be here in person I'm assuming you can buy a ticket to go inside up the towers as well um, my chat GPT um, one day itinerary just said walk around it from the outside it's just as nice got up to love a bit of artificial intelligence It is a beautiful building. I can't help but think they might be doing it an injustice by cleaning it up. I think it looks a bit more, I don't know, it looks brand new where they've cleaned it up. This area of Barcelona really reminds me of like Leicester Square. Loads of fast food places, uh, KFC, Burger King, McDonald's. I'm just going to head down for a walk now, uh, 20 minutes it says, to the hospital San Pau, um, that's the next place that artificial intelligence put on my one day itinerary, which I'm actually going to do over to, um, because sometimes I can get really overwhelmed in cities. I don't know if that's lost in translation. And of course, if orientation and map reading isn't your thing, Barcelona's easy, all straight lines. 
Now, I took my family to Paris for Christmas Day and thinking it would be quiet, um, how wrong I could be. Didn't film it, enjoyed some family time. But already I'm getting a much nicer sense about Barcelona, particularly for solo travel. That's clearly one of the most popular places in Barcelona and it didn't have that intense feeling like the Eiffel Tower did. You know what I'm gonna say? I think I could see myself sitting on one of them balconies. Apparently it's another inspired building by Gaudi. Churches in France as well with these intricately tiled roofs. Actually, I'm a really rubbish tour guide. That isn't inspired by Gaudi, um, but I'll do a little bit of talk over who it is inspired by. Political talking point. That was a monster hill to walk up from the hospital, but in respite. It's five minutes till the bus, somewhere to sit down. I don't want to jinx it. So far, I'm liking Barca. <laughs> and if nothing else, it's worth using your day ticket or your two day travel pass just to get the bus up here. The V19 drops you off where you get the most epic views over Barcelona. You can see right down to the port where the big expensive cruisers are. There's the spires of the Sagri Sagrada Familia. And the reality of the tourism, it's home. Hey, I didn't tell me to book tickets for this. Maybe it's not always right. Sold out for today, literally five minutes before I got here. Oh well, gives me a reason to come back. So the previous place might have sold out, so I've brought myself to the most famous street in Barcelona, La Ramblas. It's even a Primark. home of knockoff handbags and sunglasses. And pigeons, feeding the pigeons. Think Leicester Square and Trafalgar Square, but you're not far off it. shopping do you think this is definitely the place for you I think the Champs-Elysees in Paris now you're talking If there was a name I was going to use to describe myself, that'd be it. I'm not one for shopping, but I am one for amazing culture, vibe. This little street's got it. Got all of these surrounding it. Tiny little streets.
can't help but look at that and completely empathise with that feeling sometimes of solo travel. It's the ultimate loneliness in the busiest place. Sometimes it's about following your nose. And feeling welcome. This is by far my favourite part of Barcelona so far. It's got such a vibe. Love it. And I think I've just found Camden. The Boccaria, you could get completely lost in here. something for everybody here. Oh. And next on the itinerary is Barcelona's very own Gothic Quarter. I should fit in here. lots of hostels and bars so if you're looking for somewhere cheap to stay this might be a place there's a faint smell in the air that reminds me of Amsterdam Sometimes you just find these places to escape the hustle, bustle. And that, my people, is everything for today because one bit of advice I will give you is make sure you bring a phone charger because I have a 40 minute bus ride back to the campsite I'm staying on and I have no battery power left. But I've got a two day travel pass, so I'll come back tomorrow. And I'm gonna probably come back tomorrow afternoon because I want to see the fountain. Next morning, did some washing, a bit of admin, and got myself on that bus from the campsite into town on my two day travel pass. Ooh, this is gonna earn some lunch. This is giving me Palais de Facto Cheval vibes. Actually, it was probably him that was influenced by Gaudi, but you know. And look at Barca in the background. I have fallen head over heels in love with this city. It's just the perfect place for solo travel.
Take it back what I said yesterday about the Sagrada, Sagrada Familia actually from up here. It's amazing. I feel like I'm back in Castleton walking Dave Cove Dale. Oh my word. I haven't got the right footwear for this. You can just see the house that I was at earlier through the trees over there. It's soon easier to see why it's better to go up and round the back first and then come down the other side because you save the best to last. And there's the noisy green birds in the trees. It's probably not picking them up on camera. Time to go and fight the crowds for the ultimate photo of Barcelona. My gran ever came here because I think she would absolutely have loved it. Because I'll never find out, it's one of those things. I enjoyed that and the reason I made reference to my gran was um, my gran actually used to do mosaic um, jigsaws like she made this mega table for the garden that was all mosaics and broken tiles she also did glass work as well so she did a lot of like Charles Rennie Macintosh and so I'm not artistic at all other than a bit of video editing but um, yeah it was really nice to go there and uh, and think about her. I've had an absolutely wonderful time here in Barcelona and I'm going to call it quits. I could go to the fountain, but the fountain isn't actually 
performing because of the drought. So I think I'm going to go back to the van and come back to Barcelona. And next time I'm going to fly and come for a weekend. I have fallen in love. Thank you, Barcelona, for the perfect solo travel weekend. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I've had a change of mind. That's why I need to solo travel, because I love to do this. I'm hungry and I'm going to go and get myself some traditional Catalan food. And for those of you that have followed me for a while, you'll know one of my big things is I'm not good at eating out alone. I tend to rush back to the van, but I've got to challenge my comfort zone. So I'm in these tiny little streets which race in the Gothic Quarter, which is absolutely my favorite. And I think I've found a place. So I really mean it this time. Thank you, Barcelona, with this cute little place where I'm having a glass of cava and some garlic prawns to finish off my perfect solo weekend. Cheers. This is the perfect dinner for one. Note to self. Don't have a carva and then pretend you know Barca without Google Maps. I am completely lost. With your red lips and funky beat, you better hold your head up to the sky. I'm gonna roll with you till the day I die.